Today we're giving you three different solutions for every one body problem. And there's no doubt this next painful issue, it might be slowing you down. I have some minor pain in my knee. How do I still work out and prevent making the process worse? It's really interesting because I did a recent study that looked at people who had knee replacement surgery and they found that their overall health improved because they were able to be more active. And that's why protecting your knees, it's so important and you need to prevent injuries but what you do before and after, it's just as important. Here's what Los Angeles Lakers head athletic trainer, Gary Vitti, had to say about it. Today we're gonna to talk about the two most common causes of knee pain. The first issue we're gonna discuss is iliotibial band friction syndrome, or runner's knee. The iliotibial band actually starts up at the top of the hip. As it runs down the outside of your leg, this band crosses over the knee joint and attaches here as you run, this band can rub and create friction, which will cause pain. One exercise you can do to alleviate pain from runner's knee is take the left leg, put it behind the right leg, lift the left arm up, and then lean to the right until we feel the whole stretch all the way down the iliotibial band. The second tissue we're going to talk about today is patella tendonitis or jumper's knee. The problem with patella tendonitis is generally the patella is riding too far laterally and we want to do exercises to pull the patella more towards the midline of the body. There's some simple things you can do at home to help correct it. We have this muscle right here that attached to the kneecap. It's to take your own hand, push the kneecap laterally and then contract that muscle as hard as you can, contract and hold it for 10 seconds, and do that 10 times. There's lots of tips out there. Find the exercises that are right for you. Remember, the best way to treat an injury is to prevent it. No truer words were ever said. Thank you for those great tips, Gary. And right now, we do have physiatrist Dr. Steven Samson back in our procedure room. This is for our third possible solution because sometimes, no matter what you do, you will, will end up with a knee injury and his patient Ashley is here for some treatment. So Dr. Sampson, you're talking about injections today. That's correct, Travis. Today we're gonna to demonstrate a alternative natural homeopathic injection called Tremil. This injection in this case is gonna be used for a painful tendon that we heard about called the iliotibial band, which is on the outside of the knee and become very tight and painful. You feel a little poke. And so this is a cocktail of approximately 14 minerals and plant extracts that are entirely safe and natural. And when placed into the body, not only block pain and inflammation, but it stimulates healing. And, and Dr. Sampson's using the ultrasound there to guide him directly to where the tendon is, where he can inject That's where correct. the inflammation is occurring. And when you do injections like this, is this something that you tend to see immediate relief or does it take time? This treatment, what the benefit is, within 24 hours, patients begin to experience relief. And I think the take home for anyone watching at home is there are a lot of treatments out there before you have to resort to surgery. But in the end, if you're starting to develop knee pain, you know, this whole no pain, no gain theory when it comes to knees does not apply. Thank you both so much. Good luck to you, Ashley. Thank you. And if you are experiencing knee pain, acute knee pain, take a few days off so you don't run yourself into the ground and end up with a more severe injury than you started with.